welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in for another video today's video is a travel vlog we're going to Tenerife in about half an hour <laughs> leaving for the airport but I thought I'd just intro here whilst we're still at home to be honest Joe's just decided to go and get his hair cut at nine o'clock and we're leaving between half past and 20 to nine for the airport so fingers crossed he was the first in the queue obviously needs his holiday haircut left left it last minute as always um but this time we are staying in Costa Radecki Tenerife um, some people say a deji, some people say a decky. I'm going with the decky. Um, and the hotel we're staying at is the Ibero Star Selection Sibila. So it's um, apparently a five star, you can do all inclusive. We're just doing B&B because &B, um, we like to eat out in the evenings, as you know, if you've watched a few travel vlogs um, before this one. So yeah, I um, hope you enjoy the video. And if it does give you a bit of, um, well, if it entices you to book the hotel, then comment below and let me know if you've got any questions about it that maybe I don't cover in the vlog just comment and I'll come back to you as soon as possible um, or you can follow me over on Instagram at a lot of what you fancy so we're all packed hand luggage passports everything I've got a checklist I've just put it in the bin because I've checked it all off so I've got everything even got the sweets for the airport journey um, you cannot go to the airport in my opinion without opal fruits I still call them opal fruits opal fruits um, but yeah thank you for watching and I will see you in Tenerife Dime, cuántas veces me volviste de mente. Ahora sin ti estoy tan solo, no es fácil. Te quiero, baby, hasta que nazca el sol, hasta que nazca el sol. Dime, cuántas veces me volviste de mente. Ahora sin ti estoy tan solo, no es fácil. Te quiero, baby, hasta que nazca el sol, hasta que nazca el sol. Quiero, baby, quiero, baby, so this room has got a side sea view apparently. Wow, with the mountains up there. Oh wow, <laughs> wait until you see how close. Oh, I'm really impressed. He's got his welcome pine, I went for champagne. Yeah, so it's about, what time is it now? About. Nine o'clock? No. It's where? It is nine o'clock in the evening. Um, yeah. We need to get changed. So let's check out the bathroom. I can't get over the robin, that is so cute. Oh. Do the lights need to oh, yeah. There's a the light switch. A big shower, I always want a toilet. Yeah, I want a toilet. Nice. Decent shower grower. Any robes? Oh, yes. Nice. Everything seems to be against plastic at this hotel. The key cards are made of thick cardboard, the slippers are made of something recycled yeah they look actually really comfy like a bit woolly um but yeah really impressed <laughs> hiya <laughs> so we've dumped our bags i've emptied everything i've hung it all up in the wardrobe and we're just coming for a, a look around the hotel so start where everything is the architecture of this building is insane and we've just come across an art gallery. Joe's having a nose here. Um, there's a guy outside selling jewellery, like really nice real pearl jewellery as well. Um, but we're dying for a drink so the light's really bright in here but so far so good. The, the hotel's fantastic. Looks like that's where we're heading for breakfast in the morning. Cannot wait. Let's check out the pool. 
it's so clean this hotel. The sea's over there in the background, he'll show you that tomorrow. So we just worked out that when we arrived early and checked in, we got given a voucher for the gourmet market. It's a bit like lots of tapas places, and, and that's it up there where people are sat eating. Um, so we will definitely check that out. Here's the spa. I would like to book in for a massage. So that outdoor gym's just around the bend there. And it is all still part of the hotel. And Jim's just sussed out. But that is how we get down to the beach as well. It's perfect. Plenty of restaurants when we passed on the way up to the hotel on the coach yesterday so um, I don't think we'll be struggling to find somewhere at all um, although we went out last night for a walk when it had gone dark and it was probably about 10 o'clock we couldn't find anywhere for an ice cream other than like the convenience shop over the road that sells everything wine beer ice creams lays crisps pringles everything and they had a freezer with some um, ice cream in packets so I had a, a Toblerone ice cream lolly thing which I've never had before but it really really was good probably because I've not had chocolate in a couple of weeks now um but it was good um so yeah fancy proper ice cream tonight for pudding um but yeah I'll show you what I'm wearing when I'm ready um I don't know what I fancy wearing tonight probably a dress so I'll see you when I'm ready just a bit more insight into the room so the safe is actually free to use um even though some websites say that you have to pay. Oh, there's plenty of coat hangers, plenty of 
storage space, plenty more shelving there as well. One of them fits the uh, suitcase, but Joe's suitcase doesn't fit down there. This is one of my favourite areas. Look at that little lampshade. It's so cute. Um, I do still do my makeup in the bathroom though, because there's more lighting. Um, but there's lots of plugs everywhere, throws for if you get cold, really cute little fleecy throws. This is tonight's outfit. New dress from Primark. Um, yep, I've not got any lashes on tonight, I can't be bothered. Um, and then this is another favourite, this little nest. Like I say, there's robins everywhere, there's animal artwork everywhere. Um, and I just realised that if we go back, that's the picture of the pool. Let's go back again. And we were here today. Yeah. Um, anyway, loving the room. Plenty big enough. The TV is fantastic. And yeah, full length mirror, which we all need. So this evening, we've taken the right turn out of the hotel, which is where all there's like lots more. And restaurants and bars. So. down at the Coco Beach Club, highly recommend it. Um, I've been there a couple of hours actually and well, the bill only came to like 80 euros so winning. There's several drinks. So now we're just having a walk to walk off some of the calories because I do feel like I've eaten a small child. <laughs> oh, are you full? And the sunshine's come out and it's what, maybe half seven in the evening? But then the other, look at the sky over the mountain. It does look like it's going to rain. And my hair sticking to my lipstick. But yeah, we'll see what we can see. That looks nice. And that over there, let's just show, is Lagomero, is it? And um, Joe's mum goes there often on holiday as well. I don't know if you can see it because of the sun. But basically, there's another island over there. 
Just look how great it is up there. That is exactly what we were looking for last night, the gelato ice cream place. But we turned left out of the hotel and it was quiet. Quieter, there was a few restaurants and bars. Um, but definitely turn right as you come out of the lobby because that is the... This is down the right hand side. More, more lively. Much more to choose from. Just coming to this little shop because it's exactly what I need. A new shell anklet slash bracelet. Lots to choose from. I think I'm just going to go plain. I think I'm just going to go plain again. Yeah. Trying to see what the difference is between Ergo and Scorpio. It'll be the colour of the bead. Yeah, it's your birthstone. So Pisces is the turquoise colour, that's mine. I feel like I'm missing out here. Into the and then we get back to the and 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 Good morning. Speaking quietly because it's quite quiet around the pool. Um, the sun's not out yet, as you can see. So there's not many people out sunbathing yet. I think it's only early though, isn't it? In fact, I don't know what time it is. It's five past nine. But we just had breakfast, and I forgot to take my um, prickly heat tablet last night. So I've just taken it, and I will be knocked out pretty much within the hour I'll be asleep <laughs> I normally take it before bed but um, yeah we had quite a few pints last night didn't we Joe? <laughs> and in the last bar they just kept on flowing pints of San Miguel don't know when I started drinking pints of San Miguel but um, there was some live music on a few different singers so we decided to enjoy it and we got in a bit late or later than what we normally would so yeah, probably not much vlogging today. Just chilling, waiting for the sun to come out and hopefully catching more of a tan. About to head out for our second evening. This is the outfit of the night. It's a new dress from H&M. I think they do this in loads of colours. This is rust. Um, and this is a H&M bag. 
got from last year and the Primark slip-ons. Anyway, and Joe's got a lovely pale green and pale pink combo going on. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Let's go get some food. Positive we get to the beach this way. Sussed it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there's the party ship again. I think it that's twice in 24 hours. I think we need to go on it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> First up market, Marks and Spencer, Marks and Spencer's, Mac and all the other. This is next to where we were last night. In the Cocoa Beach Club at the back of there.
I'm feeling very... <sighs> Plus my eyelids are all swollen. I don't know what that's about. I think I've slightly burnt them. Hey, like, how are your eyelids? Operating perfectly. <laughs> it's just me and my swollen eyelids. Um, she said an amazing breakfast and then I said, oh, that music sounds that good. It, it could be live. And Joe said, yeah, she's over there playing electric violin. Was it electric? Yeah. So um, I just had like a three course breakfast, scrambled eggs on toast, chia seeds, yogurt, granola, kiwi, melon, you name it. Um, and then some ham and cheese as well. So I feel positively stuffed. But not to be negative, but the news does say that Storm Oscar is on its way. <laughs> Are we cursed or what? You know what happened in Cuba last year. But um, yeah, I've just looked at news articles on my well, just looked at my phone and it's it's filled the screen with Storm Oscar coming to Tenerife and the Canaries. Um, storm to hit Spain, and then below it says Britain hottest day of the year ever this week. Bloody typical. But anyway, the sun is out. It's been a bit overcast every day, but then it just burns through, so we're still getting a bit of a tan. So yeah, just another day of chilling. I'm really enjoying this book so far. Just saying to Joe, I think I might finish it today. I've got that much left. Um, yeah. It's, it's really good, actually. I just um, looking through the back then. <laughs> Spot this all the X's. I'm hiding from the world behind my glasses. One, because my eyelids are swollen. I look horrendous. And two, because it's just started spitting with rain. <laughs> I think I'm cursed. We spoke a little too soon earlier, didn't we? Well, I did. Because at 2 o'clock, or just after 2 o'clock, the sunshine came out and we've had four glorious hours of sunshine. Really warm, really hot. Um, Joe even went in the pool, didn't you? For a dip. So, now we're heading out to a restaurant called Amalfi that we spotted last night. So, hopefully, this is the outfit of the night. And it's a new dress from Matalan. In fact, I don't need to wear my slippers out, do I? Um, what shoes am I wearing? Some new look leather ones. Yeah, so this is the finished outfit. Um, Amazon straw bag, paper with scarf, and yeah, voila. What are you wearing, Joseph? New t-shirt from H&M. It's a very brown face that you've got there. Some Marks and Spencer shorts, it is a pose. You took them out. And your Timberlands. Just starving, let's go. Yeah, let's go, and we're really hungry. And we're just down the street from where the hotel is. There's lots of bars, lots of restaurants you might have seen the other night when we came out. But yeah, this guy's going to try and pull us into some food. My beer's not. Started my own shoe shop, just kept it quiet. There's actually a Natalie, is it fashion or Natalie shoes in New York? Got some kind of franchise going on. We realised we're walking in the wrong direction. That was my fault because I thought I knew where it was anyway. It's back up near Mackey D's. <laughs> so we're just heading back. I'm going to do what I do best and have a sleep. Um, so we've been in the room for over an hour now, relaxing. 
Um, it's not raining, it's a bit windy, it's cloudy so it's not a sunbathing day today. But um, I've still got my sunbathing attire on. <laughs> but um, yeah, we're going to go and head out to the shops and have a walk around and maybe a few beers. Um, yeah, today's going to be like this, tomorrow's going to be similar and then it's going to be Scotchio on Thursday and Friday. Um, and we leave late on Friday night so we're going to have a full day around the pool. We decided to walk it from Costa Rica to Play Gulf America. And we just come across a little harbour. Apparently it's like a 35, 40 minute walk to Play Gulf America, so why not when it's weather like this? It's actually really warming, isn't it? Yeah. It's still like 23 degrees, I think, 22, 23 today. And there's a lovely breeze. So it keeps you cool while you're walking. Honestly, around here there are so many restaurants, shops, bars, people trying to get you to take excursions on the water. I don't think we'll do jet skis after um, after St. Lucia. I don't think we'll do the jet ski thing again, will we? <laughs> Terrified. From what we've seen, this Kong bar here looks like the nicest bar. Um, we walked past it on the way in. Yeah, I would say this looks like the nicest bar we've seen. I'll show you inside as we walk past. Actually, we've just decided that we're going to go in for a drink. We're not walking the, down here and back again without having a, a pint or something. Part of this life lounge, which looks quite nice, so we're gonna go head in for a drink. Because we didn't stay very long in the Kong bar. sat waiting for Joe to pull, pay the bill for the drinks but yeah that was really nice actually and guess what the sun's come out so we're heading back to the hotel to do some sunbathing um, it's half past three in the afternoon so we just had a pint of Dorada which must be their local local lager oh, I'd like to say then um, but yeah kind of experience played last America glad we're staying in Costa Rica a thousand percent um, we didn't end up staying in that Kong bar. I didn't enjoy the attitude of the staff in there. And so we carried on walking and we found this place and this is really nice. A good thing about Play Last Americas is that pints cost between one and three euros a pint. So, and that's quite strong that Dorada, isn't it? Yeah. Is it, <laughs> is it the local beer, Dorada? Yeah, well, it's Spanish. A, Spanish, obviously. Um, yeah, so that's a benefit. Although the drinks aren't expensive in Costa Rica, to be honest, the cocktail's like seven euros. The really nice ones that you've been seeing on the video, so yeah, but it's definitely cheaper in played Las Americas. Police didn't let us go, did they? <laughs> this looked nice on the coach on the way past the ginger pig bar and kitchen. And Joe just points out there's an Irish pub here, Temple Bar. But this is the hill down back into Costa Radecki. You can always tell how much more peaceful it is down in Costa Radecki. Yeah. Feels nice to be heading back actually. Another another beer. Joe's got a few beers in the room. 
get back into the beach where, although I have actually still got my bikini on underneath this, but get something a bit cooler on. So I think it's definitely got more humid as the day has gone on. Have a little pastry that we saved from this morning's barbecue. Barbecue. Breakfast. Oh. What do you think about? Looks a bit like a um, hard rock cafe, but with the cars. Old American cars. We'll have to see what the reviews are like on that one. I feel like I start everything off in this mirror. Um, night number four. It is. Um, this is my outfit. Some old new look wedges, because I swear by new look shoes being the comfiest on the high street. This is a new dress from H&M. I think it's lovely. I think I'm going to be too warm in it, but it's one of my evening outfits. Um, wrap dress ties over there, and then another bow there. Just get the pad ready. And oh, lovely! That's navy. I love it. Thank you. And navy shorts on Marks as well. Yeah, I love that shit. Thank you. Um, but yeah, we're going to go to a restaurant called Bravo. Is it? I think I thought it was called Buffalo, but it's called Bravo. And maybe have a drink on the beach because the sun shines out again. Whoop, whoop. Oh. Don't run away from me, I want to film you. Show us your face. Oh. Wow, look at the colours on his like a zebra. Hello. Oh. restaurant again to be fair we've enjoyed every restaurant that we've gone to especially Amalfi last night we're going back there again on Thursday but that Bravo I think there must be a, a chain over here because there was one in um, Playa de las Americas today as well anyway it came to like 61 euros Joe had two pints I had a large glass of the most expensive red wine that they do it sounded the nicest um, beef stroganoff uh, your meatballs for starters my caprese salad and then I had a creme caramel, creme brulee for pudding. So yeah, really, really good. If you come here, recommend it. You can just turn up, there's plenty of tables. And yeah, I'm just gonna go and head for a little bit of a stroll before we head back to the room and call it a night. And then tomorrow is day five. really good really enjoyed it we had a lovely meal we had a tiny walk 
Um, but we have done like 11,000 steps today, so that's the most that we've done all week. Um, so I don't feel too bad. And the entertainment in this hotel is top notch. So there was a live violinist, if that's the right word, um, at breakfast yesterday, which you may have seen in the vlog already. Um, live music at the Gourmet Market, live music another time. And then tonight there has been that singer who was just full of energy, vibrant, just what a character. Um, I'm sure Joe will agree with his little stint. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just about to take my makeup off and then tomorrow is another day, day five. So yeah, catch you then. So, day five, it's been raining all day. It's, what time has it been? Yeah, so normally it starts being sunny again, or sunny and warm and hot from like three onwards we found this week. Um, so I'm just having a chill. I've gone for a, a local bar, I've gone for an amaretto, amaretto coffee. Um, somebody's singing in the bars below, <laughs> living next door to Alice. So that's entertaining. Yeah, the sun's coming out. This hat is so hot when I've got this hat on, you know, because it's black as well. But stop shit, getting burned. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to enjoy this. I've just ordered some Padron peppers and some baked camembert to share. And we're going to head back to the pool and have a sunbathe. Just like that, the food's turned up. So a few camembert, nicely presented. And a shed load of Padron peppers and Joe's. I don't think you've ever tried them before, have you? No. So yeah, we'll see what he thinks. What's this place called? Luma. Is it called Luma? Restaurant and lounge. It's big, it's massive, it goes all the way around there. And all the way down there. Well, day five turned out to be a glorious day. Let me show you, you can actually see the tops of the mountains this time. Just got back from a couple of hours. Sunbathing. I mean, the views here are fantastic. <laughs> when the sun's out, you can actually see the mountain tops. By the, uh, I'm out of pool for several hours, three or four hours anyway, since we've had a bite to eat at that bar earlier. Really. Um, and that is just down there, literally takes about two minutes to walk there. So yeah, it's my turn to grab a shower now and we can get ready, oh God. 26 degrees, we can get ready to um, for a meal. So it's Wednesday evening. Here is tonight's outfit of the night. Um, a new dress. Let me put my glasses down. A new dress from H&M. Um, it's fitted. It's got the sear sucker material on the back. The straps are adjustable. And it is very warm today. It's like 26 degrees right now. Um, this is lined as well, which is great. Um, I've got the same espadrilles that I had on from New Look as I had on last night. Um, yeah, it's very warm. Um, this is Prime, I don't know, this is H&M but Primark are selling the same thing this year. Um, and what, have, what are you wearing tonight, Joseph? <laughs> um, Baby blue linen shirt. That's Moss Brothers, isn't it? Oof. <laughs> and some next chino shorts anyway we're going to head down to the restaurant behind the Amalfi restaurant which again is about not even a five minute walk um, and I think it's called Cala C-A-L-A -A, I think anyway we'll soon see it and have a meal and it's still glorious sunshine hola hola um, Just 
having a drink at the Gourmet Kitchen again. It's fab up here, there's a DJ on tonight as you've just seen. And that's where we've been earlier on. Cheers, cheers again. Cheers, cheers. Mm -hmm. It's nice pink gin now. Cheers, babe. So we've come to the Cala restaurant, that's what we said. There's music, live music going on over there, jazz music. And then we've got the music of Coco Beach Club. So you've seen it in the vlog down there, so it's a bit of a, a, bit of a jam. Oh, and then we've got the Golden Arch, which is a kind as well. <laughs> Joe needs the loo, and then we're going to order food. We're excited for food. Yeah. Uh, we're going to have the nachos fanyabe. We're going to say that's how you say that. Fanyabe to share with enchilada el zorro. I don't have to have if to have fillet steak on the barbecue or fillet steak el general. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Um, el general. El general. Just do big portions. Yeah. <laughs> Gone for nachos to start to share. Good. Yeah. And enchiladas. El Zorro. <laughs> yes. Here you go. Gracias. Gracias. Yeah. So Joseph has got fajitas. Oh yeah. Different to what I said. I thought they were wrapped. I don't know what I was expecting, but anyway, I've got this ginormous <laughs> fillet steak <laughs> with a fried egg and chips. <laughs> All the best. All the best. <laughs> Looks amazing. That was such a good meal that we're just back in our hotel now and we're going to go and enjoy the live entertainment. We are positively stuffed. Did you see the size of that steak? Oh my god, it's massive. It was really good. Didn't eat any of the chips it came with, all the wedges. Did not need those. But anyway, we're stuffed, aren't we? I can't believe it. <laughs> you finished it. <laughs> it was massive. It was massive. I was looking at it thinking, wow, this is, this is a big piece of steak. No wonder it was 34 euros. Because the other places it's been like 22. So I thought, wow, it's 30 euros here, but it, it, it was massive. Anyway, yeah, let's head inside, enjoy another drink, and then we'll head to bed because we're gonna go full on um, sunbathing mode tomorrow because it's gonna be 26 degrees all day, 25, 26. So we are getting up at seven. We're actually setting an alarm to head to breakfast at half seven. And yeah, let's see what tonight's entertainment's all about. Hello everybody, this is our final night. We're in a bit of a rush because we've made a booking for the Amalfi for a particular window seat. And yeah, we need to be there in like two minutes. So this is a new dress from Pretty Little Thing. Um, same wedges. And yeah, we'll see you there. So I've gone for garlic prawns that we've already tucked into and Joe has just got bread and dips. Christmas starters. Mammy, of course. Chicken and Spanish sausage paella. Joe's gone for fajita. So we didn't end up in Amalfi tonight. The reason being is because we booked a certain table and that would have had a really nice view of the sunset and the beach. But because of the high winds today, they'd covered the whole like mezzanine with like this plastic sheeting thing. So it would have been a sweat box in there. And I went to take pictures. <laughs> so we ended up going back to Cocoa Beach Club. Um, and you'll have seen the photos of the food. We're now stuffed. 
We've got some packing to do, we need to go back to the room, have a few more drinks and then call it a night and that's our final night over. So this is the walkway up to our hotel. Um, I think it's one of the biggest ones here actually in Costa Radecki. If not the biggest. Um, it's the only Ibero star in Radecki. There is one in Play the Last Americas as well. And we have been very impressed. So I'm going to start packing. Um, and we don't have to check out till 11. My eyes been leaking again, can you see? It's gone all patchy and sore. Um, we don't have to check out till 11, so we're going to go for breakfast as normal, sunbathe, everything will be ready to just come in the room, pick up the bags, check out. And what's really good, we just found out at reception, is that they do um, complimentary rooms as well for you to go and have a shower and that before you actually get dressed to go back to the airport. So we'll probably have a shower about half past three tomorrow because we're getting picked up at half four. It's been amazing. It's been excellent. Um, probably do maybe maybe some filming tomorrow, but I can't promise. So I might as well just tell you here that we highly recommend the hotel. The food is great. The service is fantastic. The drinks are really good. It's not expensive to eat and drink here. Um, the gourmet market downstairs, that's really cool. And the views you'll have seen on the vlog anyway. Um, but yeah, we'd come back again. If we wanted to come back to Tenerife, we'd come back here. Um, and a bit like at the Mallorca one last year, we'd definitely go back there again. Um, so yeah, it's been really good. And luckily we've had some sunshine as well the past few days. So tomorrow's meant to be a scorcher as well. We'll check in with you tomorrow on our final day before we head off back to the airport, back to Manchester. <laughs> morning our last day 11 a.m we've got to check out at 11 so we've been around the pool since like nine o'clock this morning and it's time to say bye room it's all packed and um, when we check out we can leave our bags with reception and then we've got like a room later um about half past three for a shower and change for the airport so yeah Thank you so much for watching this vlog. If you've enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up and comment below with any thoughts or if you're thinking about coming here yourself. Um, and yeah, subscribe to my channel for further travel vlogs and everything else that we get up to. But yeah, thanks for watching. See ya. Boy, can't you talk to me? It's what I want the most in my life. They say you're out of my league. I don't give a damn, no Deep down, I know you want it You wanna take a leap and jump in Oh, oh, oh